Well, I'm great and nasty. You suggested this might just be the tip of the iceberg before the race, in which well, case we can really dream. He was very sick, you know, and it wasn't just a dirty scope. It was nasty stuff and, you know, it took quite a bit of antibiotic to get him well. And then you're trying to get to this race and, in a sense, it's a, a big call to come to it, having missed your prep race. But uh, Nat Rothschild and was very keen and his mother was listening. So we're here and, and the rain came and, you know, he's had nice ground, but I just thought it was a brave performance. We, you know, we had a pacemaker in there, if you like. He was there to make an even pace, which is nice for us to run at. And then William's gone through the gears up the hill and uh, the horse has done it properly. Tell me what was going through your mind at the furlong pole when Frankie loomed well, up. Did you think, see, well, we've run well, well but... Well, you had Monte Rosa have an early go at us and then that petered out. And then you had Cityscape come and have a go a maker's race then at the two. But Cityscape didn't see the trip out. He's a brilliant horse, but the ground was a bit testing for him. And he didn't quite see it out, so then we thought, well, we might have this race. And then I see that white cap coming with Dottori, and I thought, the little devil, he's letting everyone get us on the ropes, and then he's going to get us. But I thought this horse was valiant. He saw him, came to his girth, came to his neck, and said, I'm going again. So that was what was good about the race. You've had some great moments in your training career, John. How does this race? Oh, it's great. It's lovely to bring a horse like this back. It hasn't run since last October. No, is that, is that the satisfying part of it? Yeah, and we planned this race since last October, yeah. and then you miss your prep race. Then you have, when you train horses, as I say, they're, you know, they're, they're creatures, they're not machines, and so you have to go through that. So full marks for all the staff, Absfal who leads them up and looks after them, and uh, all of the staff there. Without them, uh, you, you know, you can't run a stable. And a word for the owners who've had a treble yeah, today. it's great, because they bred them all, you know. They do the most impossible thing, they're owner breeders which is borders on insanity, trying to be an owner breeder, you know, that's like trying to play God with genetics. But they've had a wonderful day today, and the sister won the uh, Lancashire Oaks, and, and uh, you know, it's, uh, I've had, out of that mare now, a playful act won the Lancashire mm. Oaks, and percussionist was a good horse, Echoes of Eternity, it was some lovely ones. Well, you're one today to keep yep. going on and on forever. John, many congratulations.